The gabled gatehouse of Doddington Hall is now the ticket office for this Grade 1 listed building that sits within walled courtyards. And you can ask, but sadly, there is no discount for seniors. The Prodigy House or Mansion and its gardens stand in the beautiful Lincolnshire countryside, just outside the city of Lincoln and in view of the cathedral. This is a family owned and run house. Whilst the rooms are still used, the family actually lives in what was the servants' quarters. The dining room is used, certainly for Christmas dinner. It was built between 1593 and 1600 for Thomas Taylor, who was the recorder to the Bishop of Lincoln. The cathedral, that was commissioned by William the Conqueror after the 11th century invasion, is said by the incredibly helpful staff that explain every detail in the building to have been the cash machine that funded Taylor's build of his country mansion. It shows the wealth gained by the church during that period. Just as the building of the cathedral in the 11th century shows the need the Normans had to unify power further north by building the cathedral in Lincoln and transferring the ecclesiastical power from Dorchester to it. The family's wealth is such that the building has never had to be sold. Having one constant owner must be the key to how well it's kept, how warming and inviting it is. The building is full of great interest and is one of the homes we've most enjoyed visiting. And as cruise bloggers here at Doris Visits, trust me, we have seen more than a few noble houses of awesome scale, right down to proud, ambitious heaps, and completely rebuilt attractions like St. Catherine's Palace in St. Petersburg. See our playlist of palaces and homes on the Doris Visits YouTube channel. And please, subscribe so you get to know when we post a new film. The architect of this home was Robert Smythson, who also built Longleat House, Hardwick Hall and Woolerton Hall. Many Elizabethan houses are E-shaped, which some say is an homage to Queen Elizabeth I. It has a collection of fine china, which actually comes from China. There are many paintings of the family, and the bigger ones were painted on separate canvases and put together like a jigsaw. The faces are squares added to the background canvas. Doddington Hall features many tapestries that have had to be repaired. The work was done in a room set aside in the castle and then finished in the ballroom upstairs. The tapestries now hang once again on the walls of the bedrooms. It was 2014 that the tapestries of the yellow bedroom were taken down for the first time in 252 years for conservation treatment. The ballroom upstairs, as well as mending tapestries, has been a playroom where the children's slot car track ran. It overlooks the gardens on one side, and the cathedral can be seen from the window on the other side. Some of us may call this a snug or a man cave, but it's actually an Egyptian tent. It was made about 1880, and it was brought over by Viscount Harry Cruikshank. He was born in Cairo, 
where his father was a Surgeon General. This is Mr. Cruikshank. But a lot, like a lot of Elizabethan houses, the floor plan of Doddington Hall is in the shape of an E as a tribute to Queen Elizabeth I. Donington Hall is a hotel with a number of places to stay, from the stable yard to the Shakespeare cottage, the Elizabethan brew house with stripped oak beams, the bungalow, Grange Farm and Holly Farm, which has a humble and quirky nature. It has gorgeous gardens, shops and cafes. The audio guide was supported by a lottery grant, the Doddington Hall Conservation Charity was founded in 2006 and they are made possible with the help from the Heritage Fund and their funders and supporters. There are many mapped out walks you can take around the grounds. But here's another thing. There's cycle wire, so you can cycle around and see more quicker. I hope the weather's great for you. We were very lucky. This is quite a special place. Enjoy. This is the church belonging to Doddington Hall. In those days, big houses had their own chapels. When we filmed a scarlet tunic at Chidick Manor, in the basement was a beautiful chapel where we filmed, but sadly, those scenes were cut. Please subscribe so you get to know when we post a new film.